Hello, comrade! I'm Gerald, and this is Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Today I welcome you to the start of the first campaign, where we will continue exploring the mechanics of this great game. If you by any chance missed the previous videos, there is a link to the playlist in the description of the video. Alright, a new Soviet Republic is born. Greetings, comrades! I am Nikolai Mikhailov, the second secretary of the Communist Party. I will guide you to build the greatest Soviet Republic using the Soviet Union's outstanding architecture and factory designs. <laughs> outstanding architecture, yeah. But first, the basics. Look around the map and controls so you understand how things work in our Soviet Republic. Close this window and you will, your first objectives will appear. Okay, thank you, Comrade Nikolai. Objectives, minimap. Open the minimap by clicking the zoom icon on the right bottom corner. Oh, so we're starting with very basic stuff, eh? So, uh, is this going to be like a continuation of the tutorials? That would be awesome. Hold and move to change window position. Aha. Yeah, well, yeah. That's what we're doing. Oh, we have something of a mountain here. Ooh, very big mountain, very high. Nice. The map looks super cool. We will use ships, I guess, as well. We have some rivers. Awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Enlarge the minimap by moving the double arrow icon. Yeah, this one, right? Yeah. And now height, height. Oh, great work, comrades. We have two neighbors, the USSR and Western countries. It's helpful to start building near one of their customs houses for easy and cheaper import or export. I advise you to mostly trade with the Soviet customs houses, which take and pay in rubles, which you have more of. Plus, it will help strengthen the Soviet Union. Well, if it helps for that, of course. However, you can also trade with Western countries. Just note that you have less foreign exchange reserves in dollars, so it might be better to save them for special Western vehicles instead of everyday expenses. Yeah, it kind of makes sense. Uh, this is a custom house on the Soviet border. There are more customs houses. Okay, to start trading, you need a roadway or road connect or railroad connection to the customs house. Then you can send vehicles to sell the goods. You trade with rubles on Soviet borders, dollars on Western borders. Yeah, we already know that. Currencies are separate. They cannot be exchanged due to Soviet restrictions. Oh no! To get more dollars, you will need to get them directly from the source by selling goods to Western countries. Okay, understood. Thank you, comrade, for your attention. That's a lot of messages, uh, game. I hope you will continue your education in successfully building a socialist paradise. You can start another course or get advice from me or my colleagues. Regards, Nikolai Mikhail, second secretary of the Communist Party. Okay. Oh! Oh! So we have like a few paths to follow. These are locked. Okay. The next one is Urban Planning Basics. Okay, we will do it. Um, let me leave this here for a second. So what was I supposed to do? Hold and move to change window position. Yeah, we already did that, but I thought that this can also become bigger or it cannot. Hold and move to change window position. Ah! Up and down! Okay. <laughs> so you have to click on the double arrow button and then you have to move with your mouse up and down to enlarge the map. Okay, super cool. And here we can see our... What you required. Ah, we need research to be able to see the... The resources, oh my god! Okay. Togo city names. Uh, and you can also see your cities. Can we click on a city? Or oh, I just clicked uh, on a camera location. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's hide this for now. I want to check something. Um, general settings, no. Oh, and we have an auto save. Um, controls, game settings, right? So we have... Oh, we have a lot of things disabled. Interesting. Actually, I'm... Can I pause the game? Energy management disabled, 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 normal, disabled, enabled, pollution. Education is simple. So pretty much everything is disabled, so I guess it's not going to be very... 
difficult, but that's okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay, um, where were we supposed to start? Here. Yeah, and we have a big customs house with uh, multiple um, road and rail connections, so I find it a good location as well. Okay, let's go. Greetings, comrade. I'm Mikhail Vlasov, chief architect and city planner of our Soviet Republic. I will show you the basic knowledge you should know when you plan a new city. At the bottom of the main screen, you can find the main bar where you can find all you can build from infrastructure to buildings to various decorations. On the bottom? No, it's on the top. <laughs> well, actually, maybe we can put it in the bottom as well, but I think I like it more in the top. Let's start first by creating a road network. Create a basic grid. Build at least 750 me meters of roads. Remember, we will be placing buildings around them later. So leave enough free space between the roads. Okay, comrade, we will do that. So we have our objective here. Okay, cool. So let's see how we're going to do this. I imagine that we're going to build um, a small town around here as a start of the uh, playthrough. How is the... Give me a moment. This. Uh -huh. So that's a pretty bad uh, area here. Hmm. There is plenty of space around here. Unfortunately, I cannot yet see the resources, so I do not know where to uh, construct or not to construct in terms of the resources. But I think we can have like a... Um, like not start immediately to build things around here. Because I might want to have um, like different storages or connections or industrial areas around here very close to the customs house so that we can uh, export things easily so maybe our first town can be around here somewhere in the center and that's going to help to bring people to different areas around here if we produce um, industrial areas yeah that seems reasonable to me so let's do it um okay he wants us to build roads yeah, let's do that. Actually, um, do we start with? No, okay. Let's 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 start with us. What road? This is not realistic mode, so I will put this here. And then if I now want a quick access, I just press one, and I have my road. Okay, let's. Uh, let's do. Let's do this. Somewhere up to. Ooh, here, let's say. Okay, and then what are we going to do then? Let's let's see what the next objective is and we will decide. Okay, the road is building. Ah, I also increased the speed to a faster speed. I think you can do it with tap? No. Okay, not with tap. And there we go. That should be 750 meters. Ah, no, first is gravel and then it's asphalt, right? Yeah, so the asphalt is coming. There you go. We can afford to do this because we have plenty of money. Okay. Wait, it's not ready yet? Ah, okay. Now it's ready. All right. Our city will need flats for our citizens due to any residential building. It is important. It is important is to make. Okay, this is I guess uh, some kind of a typo. Enough flats for at least 500 people. While you build the buildings, you will notice that a road or footpath connection is automatically created, and the walking distance to nearby buildings will be displayed. This is important for every urban planner. We will explain later. Okay, I think I already understand, but I don't mind if you explain later as well. Okay, what do we want to do now? Let's see. We have residential uh, in here in residential areas. We have residential buildings, small, medium, and large. Now, um, I see that we have plenty of things because of the prefab uh, research being locked. You see, it says required research prefab panel. That's all right. So we don't have a big choice. So something very important that you should consider uh, about buildings is 
that property there that says quality of lads. So this quality is very important in terms of the happiness of your citizens. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the maximum happiness that your citizens can reach. Not the one that they will get, but the one that they can reach if you provide everything else to them is capped by this quality of flats. So here we have one building that has 89. These ones are very low. In the medium ones we have 87 as well. And this one is 68. Yeah, I don't think I want that one. Well, we have 85, 89. And 87. And this one is a medium one. Oh, and these ones are very small. No, I think we want to start with something medium. So we will start with this one. Okay, let's see. How big is this building? Uh -huh. oh, it's a pretty good size. It looks really nice. Okay, so what are we going to do? How we're going to design these? Oh, no. Where is this? Here. So I think I want to make like two streets with... Um, parallel buildings and I will need how much is this 110 okay so I will need six let's place six that also means that I want to leave some space before uh, I start putting the buildings here for like some community buildings so let's do the following let's okay that's fine no actually it's not fine can I cancel you how do I cancel construction demolish okay um so let's take this one okay that's fine and let's extend it like that so this is our first street and we are going to take our building i will leave i don't know some amount of area here for buildings that will be used by everybody okay let's put this one here That's fine. So let's put, um, I don't know, let's put three and then three on the other side. But before we put them on the other side, let me see where is the other buildings that I need here. So this is for citizen state, tourism, residential, aha, sports. So I want to put a few sports buildings in the future in between. So let's see how much space we need. Outdoor swimming pool. This one is pretty big, so we're not going to take that one for measurement but let's say the football field so more or less that much but i also want to put some footpaths as well so something like this okay and if now i take the sports wait building and i put it here okay so actually let's do it let's put it here but we are not going to start this construction immediately and then we are going to put the buildings on the other side over here with enough space for the footpath as well so i think something like this should be all right okay now we can build our road for these guys like that all right come on game perfect let's connect them as well and some footpaths here as well like that there we go and here and there and that's perfect okay what's your problem yeah don't worry relax uh okay and i think now we play and there we go everything is being constructed here we're going to have really nice buildings which already have electricity as you can see because it's disabled <laughs> okay shopping the basic needs of every citizens are food meat and clothes let's build a shopping center small or big where our citizens can find all of these there are also small stores available. They sell clothing and electronics or small grocery stores. They sell food. Ooh, let's pause. 
Uh, they sell food and meat, but for this objective, let's build the shopping center. Important for upcoming objectives. Keep in mind that the shopping center requires a road connection for delivery of goods. However, purchasing resources is possible even without a road connection. Yeah, the magical uh, delivery of resources. No, don't stop. I don't want to do anything with that yet. Okay, now. Uh, where is it? For citizens? Is it here? Food and shopping, yes. Grocery store? But I think we need to do a shopping center. Okay, okay, stop it, man. Yeah, let's see. Uh, small shopping center. So what do we have here? Food and shopping. We have a restaurant, shopping centers and grocery stores. Grocery stores can have food and meat, but not electronics. And we will need to have some electronics as well. And small store doesn't have food, has only clothes and electronics. And a big shopping center has everything, but it's too big, so we don't need that one. It needs 45 workers, that's crazy. Ah, we also have two small shopping centers here. Different shapes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they have different amount of workers. I don't think we need the big one, to be honest. At the same time, the warehouse is bigger, which I think is better uh, for later if we're going to deliver everything uh, by truck. Okay, let's add this shopping center here. Actually, I'm kind of inclined to put it here. Maybe we can have a small warehouse if we're going to add other things here as well. Let's add it here. And then everyone will have very good connections anyway. Okay. And I think we will have to connect it with the footpaths. That might be more difficult than... Yeah. The game sometimes wants to fight with you. Which is unfortunate. No, can you? Yes, thank you. That's what I need. Here. Okay. Come on, man. Stop it. Okay. And now... Uh, I don't know if it should be like that. Uh, maybe we should get it up to here. And then connect it like that. Aha, uh -huh. that I like more. Okay. And that should bring connection to everyone. Let's see. It's being constructed. And there it is. Our shopping center is here. Shopping for everyone. I see our shopping center can be reached from all residential buildings. Good work. But don't forget, if our shopping center cannot be reached from every residential building, our citizens will complain. Yeah, everyone can reach it. Let's see. Yeah, good. I'm pretty sure that if you didn't have the footpaths created here already, like me, you would uh, be asked to create footpaths. Pretty sure. Let's think. What is needed for a prosperous and happy Soviet society? Right? It's alcohol, okay? If you say so, let's build a pub or two. The same way as we made the shopping center. Ensure all residential buildings will have access to it by foot. Note that when citizens visit a pub to drink alcohol, they will become addicted. Alcohol increases happiness but decreases health. It is up to you to decide if you will provide alcohol to your citizens or not. Still, you can increase health in different ways. Important, remember that the pub requires a road connection for delivery of goods. Alright, good to know. Build a pub, so we cannot choose, we have to do it. Pub, alcohol, kiosk, pub. Oh, that's a very small alcohol kiosk. Oh, that's so cute. It's lovely. Okay. Beach cafe bar. So the cafe actually sells alcohol as well. We have pop, pop, pop. We have a very big pop, a very small kiosk, and a averagely big pop. I think we don't need such a big place for such a small area, so let's put it here. Oh, but the connections are in the front. The path connections. Okay, let's first do this thing. Uh, like that, I imagine. Okay, maybe we can connect this as well. Good. 
Yeah, we will have to wait for this auto save. Oh, there is stairs here, nice. Okay, and uh, now we can place our pup. What do you want? Yeah, that's fine, I haven't even built it yet. Okay, boom. Uh, can I put actually uh, this on number two? Yeah. So number two, we have the footpaths. There we go. And now we should have the pup constructed as well. Very fast. And there is our pup. Yeah, it doesn't look very nice, to be honest. Well, people drink alcohol inside, so... I guess it's not supposed to look nice, but I like the details on the top, you know? Alright, sport. Some, you see, sports. You need to add sports. Some citizens may like to participate in sport. We will build some sport fields. Sports increase health for your citizens. Ensure all residential buildings have access by walking to it for this objective. If the citizens' demands such as alcohol, sport or culture are not fulfilled, they will become less happy. The preference to do the activity will also be decreased as a result. Aha. Uh -huh. So they will also like it less. So you could, for example, provide sport but not alcohol or culture and they will eventually be mostly content to do this single activity and they will not demand to do the others. They will be very upset for a while first though. <laughs> that's fine, I guess. So that's feels super cool because you would take a, a small hit of at the beginning of happiness over here uh, but then you can teach kind of your citizens to like the things that you want them to like like sports because sports are good for health you know so maybe we will delete the pub <laughs> build a sports field ah we already did this objective okay the last demand we will provide to citizens is culture let's build a cinema later you can also build a radio or tv station and focus it on culture and this could replace the cinema or other forms of cultural activities. Okay. Residential buildings have access to the cinema. Okay, we will do that. But first, I also want to add a little bit more sports. Let's have some uh, different sports provided here. Let's give them this path as well. Let's have a tennis court. What else do we have here? Beach, swimming pool, basketball. We have two. Ah, oh, there is a bigger one. I don't think I will be able to place it here though, right? No, it's too big. Okay, we can place this one. Ah, no, give it to me vertical, please. Okay, I guess not. Well, let's give them a, another path here. And then... Football field. Oh, oh, yes, that's perfect. Let's add this one. Perfect. Okay, but I don't think I need uh, this one here. Yes, okay. Um, and what do we can we do? Can we add the basketball thing? Nevertheless, that would be great. Volleyball. Oh, we can put this one here. Perfect. So I am rotating it with um, the control, which gives you a smaller gradient of rotation, so you can be more precise. And I will also give them one more path here. Awesome! Maybe we can add the this one here at the end, or here, or that's enough. I think that's enough. Okay, let's leave it like that. Okay, now we need cinema. Cinema, amphitheater. Oh, it's uh, looking good. And House of Culture. Nice. And they all have the same amount of workers, but they can support less visitors. The culture are much less. Okay. Where are we going to place the cinema, though? That's a very interesting... Oh, it's kind of big, no? Mm, if I want to have a warehouse here, I probably should put it on the other side. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Let's put it here. Using the control now for uh, 
more precise rotation and we'll put it as close here as possible like that and now we have to extend the footpaths again let's make this one like that and uh, yeah, that's not gonna be easy i guess doesn't want to okay let's do this and hey come on man i'm pretty sure that can be that can happen or not hmm maybe ah uh, no, can we make it no no i come on game what the hell okay not, then up to here and then like that okay this works for me and we can do this one like this okay i like it i think i think this makes a lot of sense and there is our sports field here awesome and the cinema is getting constructed looks awesome as well build soviet monuments every soviet republic needs loyal citizens higher loyalty means citizens will react less negatively when there are problems moreover loyal citizens work harder they have higher productivity and overall it brings a lot of benefits there are many ways of increasing loyalty but the first step is to build soviet monuments to glorify glorify our ideas build at least three monuments okay they have uh, i don't remember having that last time i played let's connect here as well we have a connection in the front of the cinema okay awesome stuff um okay so trees and accessories what do we have here we have trees oh that's so nice plant pop poplar plant pine acacia bush pine beach beach i don't know is that the pronunciation tuja bush bush uh, you have plenty of things to do, make the Republic more beautiful. So we have monuments here, Christmas lights, fences. That's so cool. Fence gates. Oh, asphalt roads. Ah, but these are just the decor decorations, apparently. They're not like a real construction. Nice, nice. Okay, so we will place a few. Oh, we have children playgrounds as well. And they make kids sports enjoyment influence plus 3%. 100 meters. Can I place a few of those? That would be great. What is the difference between them? I think the shape. So this one looks like that. This one is a little bit bigger. And this one is much bigger. Okay, let's try to put at least one of this big one maybe. Yeah, I don't think I will be able to though. Okay, let's put the medium one then. I should be able to, yes. Actually, let's try to first add this and then I will put a playground. Maybe like that makes more sense. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, ah, no, no, no. Come on. Okay. And... Um, Maybe one more for that side of the residential area. That should be the small one. I don't think I'll be able to fit it anywhere though. Well, maybe we can fit the big one here. Hm, who knows? It's going to be more difficult in the future, but I don't know. Okay, let's leave it like that and just follow our tutorial for now. Uh, what was it? Monuments. Medium fountain. No. Pins. Where was the monument? Recent accessories, no? Medium fountain. Big fountain. Ah, there you go. Children's playgrounds? <laughs> so the monuments are where the children's playgrounds are. Okay. Good to know. Lenin statue in concrete. Oh, plus 4.5. 3.5. Plus 5.2 in 400 meters. But we need a research. 2.8 140 meters 
Eternal Flame Obelisk. Okay, let's put it in front of the cinema so that when they go to the cinema, they can see the obelisk as well. I like this place very much. Um, what else are we going to do? So they are different in the amount of influence and the uh, meters of influence. So we have to take care of that 145. Let's say, take this one to 0.8. Because this one takes a lot of space and this one is... Oh, it's also taking a lot of space. This one is smaller. Can I fit it somewhere around here? I don't think so. Maybe if I cancel this path here. Uh, yeah. Can I take the big one? No. No, no way. Okay, let's put it here. I come on, I saw a green. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ooh, maybe I can even put my path again. Yes, okay. Mm, maybe we can put one more here. That would be great. That would be great. Come on, come on, game. I know you can make it. I will just have to force you. Uh, yes, yes, of course. And now, connection... Ah, no, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Is this connection going to work? I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah okay. Okay. Religious sympathy is something some of our citizens may feel. When you start your game on a map where old cities are present, they usually contain churches where the citizens can pray. I think we do have those. However, there is no space in our Soviet society for forgotten religion. Okay. <laughs> we should uh, suppress any religion. Therefore, we are not going to build any new churches. But it is up to you if you preserve those existing churches and let citizens pray there and increase their religious desires or if you close and demolish all churches. Interesting. So, yeah, up to choice then. Let's make sure that there are enough people in our republic and that they are taken care of. Invite enough workers so that they fill the current residential buildings to at least 90% of their capacity. Okay. Uh, before that, I think it's time for us to discuss uh, what are we doing all of this for. For example, first, you can see here um, global rating of um, health. You have satiation, alcohol addiction, sports enjoyment, pollution, average lifespan, and possibility to visit doctor. All of these are influences on the overall health of your citizens. So you have to make sure that all of this is taken care of. Here you have global happiness you have clothing quality government loyalty sports enjoyment alcohol addiction culture enjoyment religion sympathy having an, a radio or having a television and all of this influences your happiness change so there is plenty of things that you have to provide to your citizens and we did a lot of this already for the citizens in this block here for example here there is the food clothes electronics and meat which is uh, related to your health in terms of situation and to your happiness in terms of radio or television. That's the electronics that you see here in the shopping center. Um, the alcohol is obviously coming from the bar and the pub, sorry. And as you know, you don't have to actually uh, build a pub if you don't want to. But if there is people who want to drink, they will be unhappy for that for a while until they lose their addiction and they don't want to to drink anymore. Um, what are our statistics we have here? We have unemployment rate over here, which is 90% for us because we don't have uh, any places for people to work other than these service buildings like the pub, the cinema here and the shopping center. We are providing sports, obviously, with all the fields that we placed already. And we are providing culture here in the cinema for everybody as well. Uh, oh, and we have missing stuff. That's weird. Um, okay, uh, what other statistics we have here? Also, it tells you uh, splits the um, 
citizens in a few categories. You have workers, which are three types, uneducated, lower education, and higher education. And uh, children are split in different uh, age groups, depending on what type of school they have to attend to. And the other are, if I'm not mistaken, tourism, and as you can see, prisoners. And studying at university, so these are older people that study in university. Cool stuff, okay, we have the sun, wind, and let's, for example, do the following. First of all, we can click here, and you can see another statistic for people living in that building. It's the same as the ones that we saw here. Also with the health, you have the... This is the government loyalty, but we don't have um, secret police or, uh, established already so that we can actually measure it. You have the addiction culture and everything else that we already saw. Uh, here you have a lot of filters for who is allowed to come to this building. And you can also uh, filter things out by age group and other filters like car, car owners. Okay, for example, let's click on a citizen. Can I select? No, I cannot select it like that. But for example, let's click on Yulia Rostislavovna Kanatova. And here you can see um, all the information for a specific person, like name, age, lifespan. So that's like how much they are expected to live. And their average productivity, which is, as far as I know, related to loyalty and education. Uh, you can see the home building of this person. Uh, children, if they have some, there you go. You can also click on that. Free time is like time that they don't work. And apparently this person, because they don't have a job, all their time is free. Current demands over here, you have all the list of all their demands. They have... Uh, demand for food because they have not eaten apparently maybe she's going to the shopping center any information about um, their employment education level basic education as you can see here how many electronics that they have and then you have um, each of the previous um, information that we saw for the global things like happiness food health loyalty alcohol culture sports religion clothing and i think that's how much crime that uh creates that's probably what it is all right now that's it when it comes to citizens uh, we will deal with this a lot but for now we have to invite workers into our republic so that we can get to 594 how do we do this one of the ways is to come here click on the building that already that doesn't have a full capacity this one for example has 77 people out of 110 and we are going to invite 10 immigrants from the Soviet bloc. So they come um, mostly uneducated, if I'm not mistaken. But if you want to buy educated people, you can buy them from the more expensive experts uh, button, which as you can see, 10 people here are 4,000, five people here are 5,000. And we do not have many people with higher education. So I'm tempted to get some. Maybe we can get them to 20% and then we are still at 10%. Why? Maybe this doesn't update as quickly. Okay, let's uh, add more here. Okay, okay, that's it. Um, maybe a few more because we are going to add some uneducated as well. And there we go. And where are we? Uh, make sure that your workers are taken care of. Purchase goods for our stores so that each resource is filled to at least 50% of its capacity. Remember that if you overfill your store with a single resource, there will not be enough space for other resources. Okay, that's a very good point. Uh, let's uh, close all of these. Uh, so, where did we get to? Workers with... Okay, 80% I guess is fine. Uh... Okay, so now we have to buy resources because when we built the building, we got some, I don't know how magically, I don't know if that's how it usually works, but there's two ways to have resources in this game. You either buy them here by the purchase resources using rebels and magically they are going to start appearing here in your store and you pay for uh, the resource itself based on global prices, which I don't even know where they currently are. Let's see, resource, population, economy, and trade. Domestic production, import, 
Ah, there you go. Based on these prices. Uh, and you also pay for the delivery based on some calculation that the game does. So, uh, as you can see, for example, where is the foot? Here it says 116.20. Uh, oh, but we're going to pay pretty much the same with a little bit of more, maybe because we're very close to the to the border. But if you're further from the border, this will be more expensive. Because delivery cost is also calculated into this um, price. Alright, um, now you can also do two things you can auto purchase which means that it's going to continuously auto purchase the the product when the people come and buy it or if it's a factory when it's uh, used or you can manually purchase which is something like um you do it once and then you have to come back and do it again so what are we going to do? We definitely need the food and the clothes and not that many electronics. So let's add this to the half of the capacity here for the cold storage, which is 0.85 tons. For the food, we definitely need a lot of food. So let's do that. Here you see that the, your warehouse is shared between all these products. So I can uh, just add the maximum amount of food and you will have much less of the other two. And that's one of the things that... Um, we got advised against doing so i'm going to do something like that electronics can be just one i don't think we need more than two tons of electronics and clothes would be uh the next one that is a little bit more and food will be the one that we need the most of and this is going to cost us right now ah there is the delivery is now added separately there you go you see so we get added the delivery cost now that we did that Oh yeah, um, you can see that our warehouse is getting uh, filled with the resources that we ordered, and it's going to stay filled because we have we have the auto purchase enabled. Same goes for the pup and for everything else. So we're going to do that as well here, and there you go. Now the pup also has a ton of alcohol for all the alcoholics. Thank you, comrade, for your attention. I hope you learned how to build your city. I will be at hand should you need more information from me. You can access the government icon from the left panel to learn more. Regards, Mikhail Vlasov, Chief Architect and City Planner. Okay, and now that we uh, concluded with these urban planning basics, we opened four more. Basics of Agriculture, Emergency, Soviet University and Coal Mining. Okay, nice, nice. Alright, uh, where is he accessible from? Resource... Make city. What is that? Make from buildings. Place building. I have no idea <laughs> what that button does here. Show overlays, construction offices, okay. Workshop, editor, uh -huh, maybe here is what he meant. There is our guy, Nikolai Mikhailov. And this is a bunch of questions that you can come to check if you have any anything, any insecurities about things. Okay, and now we have to make the choice of what are we going to do next. Hmm. Soviet University. Okay. The game from time to time makes... Um, <laughs> Uh, b blocks for a second. You know what? I think... I think that we can just play the game for a while and see how things are going here, although we are absolutely unemployed. And you can see how things are working. For example, as you can see here, we have um, sellers coming to work. And considering that our unemployment is at the, its highest possible, we are going to have all the positions filled all the time. By the way, keep in mind also that the number of bar staff that you see here is for one shift. Um, which means that there is three shifts of eight hours per day, so you actually need 15 workers for this building if you want to have full shifts all the time. That's why for uh, we have... Let's, let's count. We have... How many citizens in total? 601 citizens 
And we have... Uh, how many is that? 160 jobs more or less taken right now because we have 30 here. That's 35. 40. Times 3 is 120. So why do we have 160? Ah, also these guys here uh, need stuff as well. That's why. So if you add all of these um, work places together and multiply them by three you will get exactly the number of workers that are currently employed which is the difference between this number 601 and the unemployed workers here which is 444 also you will notice that our population is growing and that's why uh, that is because people are making babies uh, also it's going to go down because people are dying uh, and these are the in inevitabilities of life I'm pretty sure, by the way, if we uh, play this game for a while... Ooh, we have rain. And everything is wet. <laughs> uh, if we play this for a while, you will see that people are doing sports a lot because we have provided that. And they're going to start losing uh, religious sympathy as well. Because we did not provide them with the church. Basic university. Okay. No one is buying electronics for some reason. It seems. Maybe it's too ex Ah, maybe it's because they are not working and they don't have money. <laughs> that makes sense, right? <laughs> okay, and uh, as you can see here, I will show you something else. And the shopping center will definitely show it in the best way. Um, we... This is in auto-purchase, right? Yeah. This is going down. That's fine. Uh, we have 30... 30 sellers maximum here and we have 30 out of 30 but you can also decrease the number of workers why would you want to do that well for example in many situations you will not have enough citizens or meaning uh, workers to to fill all the shifts or you want other um, uh, industries or shopping centers or any other workplace to have those people instead because for example you also see here that we have this is a university education person who works as a seller in the shopping center which doesn't make a lot of sense uh, but they ha don't have anything else to do so but uh, or also for example you have current number of shoppers and as you saw they don't go more than like 30 40 maybe so we don't actually need that many here in this building so when we decrease the number of workers we're also going to decrease this capacity and basically, the idea would be that you don't want to have uh, more sellers in, 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 in respectively uh, workplaces available than you actually need uh, for your shoppers in this case to, to, ha to have. Like you need to have, like let's say, 60 capacity currently is perfectly fine for all these buildings with 800 people because they never go higher than that. Also, they will be they will start queuing here and you can come from time to time and check and you can also get notified if i'm not mistaken the, the game also provides this mechanic for you to get notified if there is not enough um, capacity for all the shoppers that are coming and then you can come and increase this and you can also click here on top of that number and you can uh, add a number which uh, you would like for example 13 if you don't want it to be uh, decreased with the amounts that um, in this case are five Per click all right so i think that explains things a lot uh let's do the same for the bar for example we have bar staff five out of five but we have like what 10 to 15 people so that means that we can go with two workers and then we will free uh workers for other industries if we need them to of course uh, be careful with that though, because especially for these buildings, you do not want to uh, to have queues and not to have the uh, needs of the citizens supplied, because that's going to hit you in your happiness uh, or health ratings, respectively. And that is definitely not a good thing. Alright, with this, I will end it for today. I must say, I might have judged the tutorial section too harshly, because it seems the campaigns are also meant to be sort of a tutorial the game is uh holding your hand a lot so far which i like considering many of the systems are complex and would be difficult to understand for newcomers do you agree do you disagree 
share your opinion in the comment section, smash the like button and click the subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.